another video here at iUniversity Prep. So today's video is an introduction into pi um, fractions and pie charts. Okay, so we're going to take a look at several different fractions and how that looks in a circle, okay, or contained within a circle. So one, we have one full circle. All of these fractions represent circles, okay? And so a fraction a fraction is part of a whole, okay? It's not the complete thing. So if we have one half, okay, we have we have one circle if we have two halves, right? You have two half dollars, you have a full dollar. So I want you to look at the numerator, and that's the number on top of the fraction. That's how many pieces you have out of, okay, the bottom number, the denominator, is how many like total. So I have one out of two pieces. Notice I have one half of a circle. This is what a full circle looks like. This is what one half, one out of two. Okay, so let's look at one third. What does one third of a circle look like? Here we are. So what would happen if we have two out of three? Okay, we're gonna change the number on top, the numerator. We have two thirds two-thirds of the circle. Oh, this is amazing, okay? And so, if we have the full circle, let's say we have the full circle, how many pieces out of three do we have? Look, we have three-thirds. Here we have one-half, one out of two. Here we have three out of three. And what does three out of three mean? Well, look, we have the full circle. The full circle. So three out of three, that equals equals one. That's it. If your numerator is the same number as your denominator, equals one. All right, so this is what thirds look like. Okay? One third. Okay, same thing. We can we can break this down. What do you what does it look like if you have a circle broken into four pieces? Well, boom, and there you go. Check this out. I took two pieces away, right? Two pieces away. And what do I have? I have two, one, two pieces, two out of four. What shape is that? What shape does that look like? Is that the exact same thing as one half? So two quarters, so one quarter plus one quarter is the same as one half. Yes, fractions are really, really cool. You can do a lot with them. You can play with them and manipulate these fractions to, to really kind of do anything you want. So, here we are. This is dealing with quarters. Okay, quarters. And then I just kind of going to skim through these. One fifth. If you have a circle and you divide it into five pieces, one, two, three, four, fifth one stays on the board, one fifth. Okay, what about six pieces? All right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce a pattern to you shortly. Um, one six, let's say we have, man, two six, two out of six pieces. Well, how big is that? If we have two out of six, is that almost same, the same thing as we have Look, it's the same size as one-third. Two out of six is the same as one-third. Crazy. Fractions, if that term is that you can simplify fractions. You can reduce them to smaller numbers um, occasionally. So we have six pieces. Okay, just like one-fourth, if we have three out of six, we have three out of six. Three is half of six. Check this out. Boom. Three sixths is the same as one half. It's so cool. So cool. So, if we break our circle into sixths, okay? Boom, there it is. Eight pieces. We can do eight pieces if we want. Same thing. Four out of eight, well, that's just the same as one half. Five out of ten, one half, okay? It doesn't matter what, how many pieces you break a circle into. 
okay? If you break it into pieces, and they're equal pieces, you break it into fractions. It's a fraction. It's a part of the whole circle. So, guys, I hope this was a cool, interesting video for you to, uh, just to, to introduce fractions and how those fractions might look uh, as part of a circle. Anyway, have a great day, and let us know what kind of video you want next time. Thanks.